Teams are a core feature in both Tempo Timesheets and Tempo Planner, and they help you manage the time for groups of people in your company. You can create teams in Tempo for all sorts of reasons, but the main idea of a team is that it's a group of JIRA users who work together on projects in some way. For example, a team could be a scrum team, a development or design team, or a special projects team where members have different skills and locations. In this video, I'll show you how to create a team and add members to it, as well as how to add team roles if the ones available don't cover your team's skill set. But before I can create a team, I need to have Tempo Team Administrator permissions, which I'll get from my friendly neighborhood JIRA administrator. And they get them from the Settings Global Permissions. With that set up, I'm ready to go. The first thing I do is open Teams from the sidebar. And I'm on the Teams view, which is like a home base for all the teams. Up here at the right, I'll click Create Team, and this opens a dialog. I'll call my team Cafe, because they're going to be working on an app that controls espresso makers. And I'll assign myself as the team lead. And this means that I have permissions to manage timesheets and plan time for this team. I don't need to be a manager in my organization to be a team lead, but that is sometimes the case. There can be only one team lead per team, but I can give permissions to someone else to act as a team lead as well, and I'll cover this in another video. I can optionally select a program, which is a group of teams to which I can add this one. The summary is also optional, and I can add any information here about my team, such as how awesome they are, or in this case, what their purpose is. If I wanted to create more teams, I would check this box, and then this dialog would stay open after I created my team. But one team is enough for now. I'll click Create, and my new team is added to the list here. Now I'm ready to add members to it. I'll click on my team's name to open its overview, and I see all the information that I just entered. Then I'll click Add Member down here. In the dialog, I'll start typing a name, and then select the person I want. And I'll start with Amy. Each member has a role in a team, and the same person can even have different roles on different teams. Also, if you don't see the role that you want here, you can quickly create a new one, which I'll show you in a minute. And Amy is our UX designer, so I'll select that role. A team member can have different levels of commitment to a team. In this case, Amy is going to be working only on this team, so I'll leave her commitment at 100%. This percentage matters for planning the time of shared resources when you're using Tempo Planner. I can also set the dates that a team member joins or leaves a team, so that I know when they're available for this team. Again, this matters for when you're planning time with shared resources. So I'll click Save, and I have the first member on my new team. I need to add another team role that describes one of my team members' skill sets, and I can easily do this by going to Tempo Settings. Then I select Team Roles under Teams. I'll enter the name of the role that I want, and here I'll put Instructional Designer, and click Add. And that's all there is to it. Now I'll go back to my team's overview and continue to add members, but this time I'm going to add a whole bunch in one shot, instead of one by one. I just click Bulk Add Member and select a JIRA user group that I created earlier. This group is called Beans, as in coffee beans, and I could add more than one group if I wanted, but I'll click Next. And now I could check who the users are in the group by clicking this link. But I know who's in the group, so I'll click Confirm to add the group to my team. This is a really fast and convenient way to add members because now I can edit each member's information, such as defining what their role is. And I'll do that for each member here. I also included myself as a member since I'm going to be a project manager for it. With my team created, I now need to manage the permissions for the team members, which I'll show you how to do in the next video.